But we had an interesting conversation with someone uh, recently, and I wanted to share some of it with you because I thought you might, you might find it interesting. Um, but we were talking to the person about you know, what the, what, the way we eat, kind of the whole food muscle way, the, what we're creating, mm -hmm. um, the eating, the fasting, the working out. We were talking about all that with someone. Hey, Carol. Good morning, Carol. And they said to me, but there's so much information out there. How do you choose who you listen to? And I thought, oh, you know, that's a really a, a really good question into kind of my unconscious choices. Yeah, especially since a lot of people out there are lying to make money. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, let me, I take that back. They are exaggerating the truth in order to profit from it. Is that a nicer way of saying it? <laughs> that's nicer. It's still the same thing, though. Um, so I think that the first thing for me that kind of puts up the first red flag is if the only thing they're talking about is weight loss. If that's the only point to their whole conversation is weight loss, that for me is a red flag. Because while weight loss absolutely is a marker of health, mm -hmm. um, you know, being a healthy weight is important, it's not the only marker. And we've, I've said this before, there are a lot of different ways that you can lose weight. You know, chemotherapy will make <laughs> yeah, you lose weight. Say. Uh, heroin will make you lose yeah, weight. And, and certain diets that are not healthy will make you lose weight as well. Exactly. And so if a doctor, if the first thing, if the only thing that they're talking about is, this is a great weight loss opportunity, that for me is a red flag. Does that mean that I say, okay, they're out, nix them entirely, they don't know what they're talking about? No, it doesn't. But it makes me kind of question, okay, if that's what they're leading with, if they're leading with this huge promise of, quick, fast, weight loss, mm -hmm. mm, I, I need to know more. Yeah, a caution, a caution flag goes Right, up. it's a caution flag. Okay, well, so what, what are they selling? What are they, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the second thing for, th for, for me is why are they making this claim? What are they gaining from making whatever claim they're making? Um, you know, some doctors, and we've talked about them before, I actually got a question just today on our, our Facebook page about Dr. Grundy. He talks about the plant paradox and he talks about lectins and how dangerous they are. You know, are they making a claim that no other doctors are making? Is it like, and Dr. Grundy is the only one out there who's like touting the dangers of lectins. Oh my goodness, if you eat plants, they will <laughs> kill you. Okay, why is he the only one? If there's so much science, why is he the only one that's making this And then claim? why does he also misquote the science? Like, right. Like he actually says something that the science doesn't actually say. That for me is another big flag. If, if, a, if a doctor, and I don't care if they, what letters they have after their name, if they're the only one making this huge scientific discovery, that's another red flag. Okay, mm -hmm. why? And then on top of that, if other doctors gonna say that. then are saying that's nonsense, Okay, that's a problem. If you know, if there's the, the science isn't contradictory. It kind of builds on itself. So mm -hmm. if someone's making this huge claim, and then other doctors are saying no, that's ridiculous, another red flag that says okay, they're the only one making it, and other doctors are arguing with that. And it's funny because in this particular case, there are people just basically calling him a liar that are doctors and are in this field of mm -hmm. nutrition. So if that's not a red flag, that's not that's not a red flag. That's like you know crossbones. That's a, that's the black flag. <laughs> yeah. Stop, cease, desist. Um, another thing to look for is if they're using scare tactics. You know, are they trying to like grab your emotion and frighten you into buying their supplement or doing their thing or you know whatever? If they're if they're using a scare tactic, that's again another red flag. You know, and how many red flags do you need before you're like, okay, that's yeah. ridiculous. Well, especially when they're using a scare tactic. But you know what? Lo and behold, they have the magic cure by by using right. all their products. <laughs> you know, and, and when I mean all their products is right. the magic cure. It'll save you. Right. Yeah. That that's An another thing for us that that we look for, and you know, who do you trust? is are there multiple different sources that are saying the same thing? And that's what we found in the plant-based space. There are a lot of different doctors who, they come at it from different angles. They have kind of slightly different, um, I don't know, ways of, of implementing it, but they all have the same foundation. Yeah, same of, conclusions. Hey, yeah. look, plants are good for mm -hmm. you. And they come at it from different ways, but... And they're also supported by large organizations like the World Health Organization and organizations like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just, it's... When you start getting overwhelming people agreeing, then you have to start saying, okay, there must be something behind it. And these are things you don't have to... So, we also, when we look at, at stuff, we look at, well, who's funding it? And where are they getting their money? And, you know, why, why would this be biased? 
The things that I'm sharing right now, you don't have to dig that deeply for. You can just kind of say, you know, are, are there a lot of people who agree or is this one person on an island claiming, you know, uh, something that just seems really ridiculous? And then the other thing for us is what they're saying, how does it align with the scientific knowledge we know? Now, I am definitely a person who I am open to new learning all of the time. I posted a thing the other day that said, be careful what you learn, it'll change what you know. Right. <laughs> and it created an interesting conversation on Facebook, but the point of it is, I'm more than happy for someone to share science, knowledge, information that is different than what I know, and I'm willing to learn and change. If I weren't, I wouldn't be here because I would be stuck in where we were mm -hmm. as athletes, where it's all about the protein and right. all the, you know, all of the animal products. Obviously, I'm willing to learn, but if what you're sharing with me is in deep contradiction to what I know as far as what the science says, I'm going to need more than just, here's an article on Huffington Post that says, that's not science, that's somebody's opinion. Mm -hmm. So how does, it, how does it balance with what I know and the multitude of doctors? You know, I can name 10 doctors uh, who are experts in this space who say, hey, this is good for you. And, you know, you could say, well, here, what about this one? He says something different. Okay, how does that one align with these 10? And what does that look like? Um, are they making crazy claims that are just way too good to be true? That's one thing we see in the keto space. And people who are keto, I know are fanatic about it. You don't have to yell at me, I get it. I know you're fanatic about your keto. But the thing about keto is it makes these claims of, you know, lose 30 pounds in three weeks. Okay, we all know that's not healthy. We all know that that's not, you know, a good way to go about life. And it's not sustainable. It causes yo-yo dieting because yep. there's no way you can live that lifestyle long term. It's the reason why there are no studies long term for that. Because people can't stay on them. Right. So, you know, are they making a claim that sounds too good to be true? Um, is it something that seems like it's sustainable, like Russ says? Is it something that you can legitimately do that your body is going to be healthy and happy? You know, again, we go back to the first thing I said. If their main claim is weight loss, what yeah. else are they doing for you? Mm -hmm. Weight loss is only part of it. Weight loss at, at all costs is not a healthy way to go. Right, right. And then, you know, is it sustainable? It doesn't seem like it's more than just weight loss. Does it agree with other, the other science that's out there? Those are the kind of things that we do. And that's why we realize we kind of have to create we, the whole food muscle way of doing this because over the years of learning all this, we've kind of said, okay, this makes sense and this makes sense and this works. Mm -hmm. And we've created a system that we use and we realize we're not, we're telling you the science, but we're not showing you the, right. the system. And, and although we do follow quite a few doctors, both mm -hmm. um, MDs and PhDs, um, as well as like fans like these too, um, the point is we don't agree 100% with anyone. The closest person I'd say we probably agree to is Dr. Uh, T. T. Colin Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. Um, but... But they all have good points and they all make valid points and they all are specific. In other words, like Esselstein is more about heart disease. And if you have heart disease, you want to probably pay more attention to what he's doing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and, and so it goes like that. That's how we kind of look and at Bernard it. And Bernard is all about diabetes. The, Bernard is all about diabetes, yeah. right. And so for those specific um, reasons, then yes, you, you pay more attention to them. But for overall health, which is what we are looking to do and are more concerned with mm -hmm. is, um, I guess, I don't know, we have a more liberal approach to it, if you want to say anything. I, well, and the other thing, too, is I, you know, we want people to be able to do something that's sustainable, which means it's not hardcore, you have to do all of these things. It's more like, okay, here's what we do, here's what works for us, here's a way that you might be able to make progress and be successful. Mm -hmm. And that includes the psychology and the exercise and the eating and the fasting mm -hmm. and all of it. And I think that bringing it all together is what's really helpful for people so that you don't have to go out and figure out, you know, who are the doctors and which ones should you right. follow. And, like, and we always say, don't try to do everything at once. <laughs> you know? Because you're not going to succeed that way. No. First of all, your body can't handle that type of change. It's your gonna mind revolt. can't handle that kind of right. change. Right, and it's going to revolt against you. You're going to have all these other types of symptoms that are going to discourage you from being successful. Yeah. So, um, you know, take the steps slowly, which is, again, what we try to promote in our system. So. Yeah. So that, that's, that's how we decide. It's you know, more about weighing the evidence. It's not just because someone has letters after their name doesn't mean you should trust them. And I say that about me, and I have letters after my name. Don't trust me just because I have letters. Trust me because I bring you information that you're like, yeah, I, I get that. That makes sense. But you know, weigh it as, a, as an intelligent human. Don't just jump in because, oh, she has letters. 
The, the letters are neither. I got, I got more symbols. <laughs> symbols, that's not true. I'm ignoring our comments. Happily sustainable. Yes, exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Valerie, perfect and point. Encompass the whole body. Exactly. exactly it's not about it. one thing, it's about the whole process. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, that was the short answer. Oh, actually, that's a long answer. That's I exactly. gave a short, a short answer to some, when the person asked me, well, how do you choose? I was like, well, I kind of compare it. But I, I thought about it and wanted to share it with you mm -hmm. guys too. So. so with that, we will say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. Be safe. We'll see you tomorrow.